Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and on the left is an iPhone 4, on your right is an iPhone 3GS, and in this test we're going to test the Wi-Fi performance between the two devices to see which one performs better. It's important to note that the iPhone 4 has an upgraded 802.11n uh, Wi-Fi antenna, while the iPhone 3GS is still on the previous generation technology of 802.11a, b, and g. In order to prepare for this test, I've gone ahead and shut down all the wireless devices running in the house to give us a stable network. And we're going to have to do these separately. We can't do them simultaneously, otherwise they'll rob each other's bandwidth. So the, for the first test, I want to try the iPhone 4. Now let's try the iPhone 3GS. So they're very close. We can see 5413 average down on the iPhone 4 with a 5061 average down on the iPhone 3GS. The upload average on the iPhone 4 is 795 versus 780 on the iPhone 3GS. Once again, they're very close with a slight performance edge to the iPhone 4. Let's run the third test. Again, very close, and this time the 3GS outperformed the iPhone 4 by a little bit. So we're at 52.73 average down on the iPhone 4, 53.83 average down on the 3GS. Upload average on the iPhone 4, 794 versus 777 on the 3GS. In conclusion, it looks like both phones perform about the same, at least on my wireless network. And in order to take full advantage of the speeds capable of wireless N, you do have to have a pipe big enough. And my ISP only averages about 7 megabits per second. So if you split that between upload and download averages, that's about what we're seeing on these tests. So if you have a really high speed network, you probably can take better advantage of the iPhone 4's speed capabilities. Once again, this is Detroit Bohr with a test of the Wi-Fi speeds on the iPhone 4 versus the iPhone 3GS. Thanks for watching.